What is up guys? Andrew with No Excuses TV here and today we're here to talk about kind of our we've we've just got done with our first trip in the tiger moth and we're going to talk about kind of the first few things we've kind of surprises that we've liked and some things that already kind of go south for us and some things that we don't really like about it just real quick we'll do a full re you know review of the entire thing later but this is this the first trip reaction video so here we go all right so let's start out with a positive thing that kind of surprised me that i didn't think was going to be a big deal to have and that i've liked it a ton since we've had it so they have this right above this is like a water tank or like a water can it's like five gallons they have it right above the galley pull out right here let's talk about why i like it so much so when we're cooking we have this thing pulled out all the way if we need to wash something it is right here you know we have that ability to get that water right there we don't have to go have, have anything actually hooked up for it we can go immediately put some water in there and then wash the stuff that we need to wash and also if you need water for food or any of the pots or pans you need right there pretty quick it's a uh, one of the things that we've kind of liked more than I thought we would. All right, so now let's talk about something that's been kind of a negative for us. So overall, the things that we've noticed, it's built, the text is built really well. So a lot of sturdiness, a lot, a lot of strength and power where you need it. But there's some other places that I, 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 don't, I think they could have used different products to make it a little stronger. Uh, but we'll let you kind of figure out what we, after what we talk about, after I talk about what's going on. So the biggest kind of thing that we've noticed so far comes with the uh, kind of table that comes with it. So the bottom and the top are both made out of this plastic. And you can see already this, it's been stripped up somehow. I don't know what's going on, but that's already starting to strip off. They could, I think this could have been, it should have been done with aluminum, made a little bit stronger. So it wouldn't, isn't so, I don't, I have no idea what happened, but it's already stripped up a little bit right there. And another spot that it's the exact same place that's having some issues is the spot where we screwed in. So it screws in right here, which hasn't been a big deal, except this button doesn't even work anymore. And I tell you, this is the first trip we've taken on. So in theory, what you do, you have your table, you screw it in, and you should start hearing some click, 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 where it locks here, and then to release it, I push the button to unscrew. There is no clicks. This is literally as tight as I can get it. I, I mean, there is no, it's not moving anymore and there's no clicks i don't push a button i just see i can unscrew it but this never comes up i don't know if it's dirty or if it's clogged up with stuff or if it's a defective one i'm going to reach out to tax about that one and those two things honestly i'm i'm going to reach out to him about so i may have an answer for you for you if i just all of a sudden have a cut right here then i had an answer if i didn't cut right there then i haven't got an answer back and i don't know what we're going to do about it um it functions right now. Um, I suspect that could be a, a big issue soon, especially that stripped little piece that attaches the bottom to it where if I can't get my table to attach anymore, I'm not sure what, I'll, what I'm gonna do about it. All right, so let's go back to a positive. So our last positive we're gonna talk about for this first kind of impression is, and again, I don't know how big of it is, is this guy right here. So this five gallon gas tank when I take it and I hook it up, have this tube it's hooked up. It's not hooked up right now because we just got done cooking. But it, this goes straight to my my uh, the burner that came with it. Came with a GSI outdoor stove, and that's what it hooks to. It's so nice to just have that gas on and have a knowing you have a constant supply for as much as you're going to cook, without having to worry about where is that green little bottle going to go. How am I gonna How am I going to attach it? I need to make sure I have enough room to attach the green bottle to it where it can rest and it's not pulling on it. It can be, a, I mean, annoying, but not that big of a deal. That five gallon addition, I think is gonna make a huge deal in the future. Um, I'm gonna keep at least two of the green bottle um, kind of gas tanks as a backup because I don't know how much that holds. I don't hold five gallons. I don't know how long it's gonna last. And I don't know how to tell how much is left in it. So what's gonna, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna run it all the way out. I'm gonna weigh it and then we're gonna fill it all the way up. I'm gonna weigh it again. We'll have that difference and then we'll figure out okay it's got i've used this much it's half full and go on from there okay so the last negative we're going to talk about is has to do with the slide out for the bed so i'll show you what we're talking about before i tell you where's the other one piece I, I i've said this already this is literal our first trip in this taxa and these little plastic pieces right here that basically their job is to set at the bottom of the slide out have busted off. 
Now, to be completely honest, I'm not sure why the plastic pieces are. I know they're there to keep from scratching the floor up. I don't know why they're plastic. So let me show you where they go. So these two pieces right here, you can see them. This is where these pieces go. They sit on right here, they sit into it, and they keep it from scratching this floor up as you're dragging it back out. I get that. I understand this there, but I've you I've slid it out three times and it's already busted this one in half and this one's come off. I mean, I can put this one back on, but how long before it turns into this one and gets that stri top stripped off of it? I'm not going to I'm not going to like reach out for like to get a replacement on those plastic pieces. To be honest, what I think I'm going to do is I want to do a plasti dip them. And so if you've ever had like some uh, handles for like tools or things you want like rubber coated almost. So I think I'm gonna go through and just plasti dip the bottom of those. There's a big boat driving by it and you probably couldn't hear me. I'm just gonna plasti dip the bottom of that pull out so I don't have to worry about it. So one, it's gonna protect the floor. And then two, it, I'm not gonna have to worry about that plastic breaking and ripping off. Um, we've we've had a, a great experience in the in the Texas so far. And I'm not gonna lie, it's, it's lived up to all the expectations we've had. There's some big things that we have it that I, we're not going to talk about in this video because we're going to have a specific review video coming out after we use it a couple more times. So we just got back from the uh, first trip camping and and so I haven't heard back from Taxi about those pieces yet, but um, we'll give you an update if that anything changes on those things. But I realized that my phone, I think, reached its storage capacity and that cut off like the last 15 seconds of the video where I was like finishing up and telling what all went on. But anyway, we... we so far, we've had a very positive experience with the Texa. It's those little things are starting to add up, which will make a full, like a cons list and a full pros list that we'll put out separate videos on in the future as we have more than just one trip in them. But uh, we've enjoyed it so far. I can't wait to go camping again in it. Um, so if you like this video, if you like these Texa videos, make sure that you click that subscribe button. It helps me out a ton. Only like 1% of the people watching these videos are subscribed, then it doesn't cost you a thing. So why haven't you not subscribed yet? So hit that subscribe button, hit that like button if you wanna see more of these videos. If you wanna see something specific or you have specific questions about the taxa that you want us to address, please let me know down in the comments and we will see you in the next one.